hello guys i hope you're well wherever you are whether it's morning evening afternoon i hope you're doing well and if you are a returning subscriber thank you and welcome back god bless you if you're new here on this channel you're welcome i hope you enjoy this video i think this will be the introduction of this video and um the gist of this video mainly is about the last week of my maternity leave and uh, today is the 26th of april and i am supposed to start work from the first of may and honestly i am very anxious i don't think i have ever been anxious about anything in my life before like i am right now but i am just praying um for peace of mind that surpasses all understanding honestly i'm just praying for peace i'm praying for comfort i'm praying that uh, everything shall be well i have anxieties of leaving my baby at home because i work for long hours i'm a nurse so i work for 12 hours so it's like a 7 to 7 shift so the next time i'm seeing my baby is like after 12 hours and i am so anxious i do not know what the future holds and i do not know how that will go but i am just praying that um god will protect them i pray that everything will be peaceful back at home and i will find them safe and um, yeah so if you're also a new mom and you're returning back to work just uh, comment down below in the comment of how you feel and how you coped um going back to work and how you were able to stay calm through out the especially the first week of work and maybe those pointers can also help me um get through my day but i will keep you guys in the loop but one thing i had thought of doing is maybe doing night shifts exclusively that way either one of her parents are going to be with her so if i do night shift it means that i will be with her during the whole day and then when i will be at work he, her dad will be with her during the night so i'm thinking maybe that will work or maybe it's just my anxiety driving me to that point but i i'm actually really considering it and i just want to do this first week of work and see how it will go and i'm hopeful that things will be okay and that my anxiety will reduce because even as much as i'm saying that i want to do night shifts i know that it will be really hard um to get back to the groove of work to get back to how things used to be and i'm just praying for strength honestly because i know it's going to be hectic but god is here god is here holy spirit holy spirit help me so yeah so let's see how it will go but anyway i'm enjoying my last week of my maternity leave and i feel so lucky because toto is about four months so i will be i'll be starting work when when she is like four months old which is a blessing a blessing i do not take for granted because um i've had so many friends who have gone back to work when their kids are like two months or two and a half months and i i feel blessed i feel blessed that i have been able to stay at home longer and i have been able to bond with her and as much as it's devastating to leave her at home for those periods of, of of time i know that everything will be okay i know that everything will just work itself out and she's going to be well she's going to be safe she's going to be protected and i'm just praying that wherever you are you'll be saying a prayer for her for me also to reduce my anxieties and for her protection as well because i don't know i don't know but i trust god and i trust that everything will go well so 
anyway enough of that so i hope you enjoy this rest of the video of me preparing to go back to work and see you then i've been waiting for just a moment some time with you but i'm impatient and you don't notice the way i I chose to put the same amount of effort into you Like you do with me mm -hmm. I chose to put the same amount of effort into you Like you do with me That's why we don't talk no more Don't talk no more. Don't talk no more. I chose to put the same amount of effort into you like you do with me. That's why we don't talk no more. hi guys so as you've seen in the video my hair has refused to cooperate because it is that kinky for c hair type and i have a lot of hair so even the simplest of hairstyles that um you can do is not easy for me so actually i have been considering a lot of times to relax my hair but with this cold weather i would not do that this time but i will Look for another time to do it so today i'm going to the salon to just um put braids or condros i look for something simple because i don't want to overstay in the salon for long um so yeah this is me preparing to go and i hope i don't take long over there um so my outfit of the day is this uh, mustard this polka dotted mustard shirt and black jeggings yeah because i want comfort over everything and this thing is breastfeeding friendly but i'm not taking baby to the salon honestly she's going to stay here with the um, hm so I hope I find a hairstyle that will be quick. I really don't want to stay there for long. Anyway, 
Um, see you then. Today is Sunday the 30th and it is officially my last date of maternity leave and I am feeling so destroyed. Anyway, I had my morning routine. I made the bed like a Sunday reset. I changed the sheets. I uh, had a small face routine and I changed Toto's beds, bed, um, beddings as well. So right now, I want to um, look for my uniforms because honestly, I do not even know where they are right now. <clears throat> but let me look for them and then I'll tell the HM to wash them. I hope they dry by the end of the day. Anyway, I went to the salon on Friday and this is the hair I got because you know what? I'm an ass and we do not want hair on our faces or hanging hair. Okay, this hair is long, it's just that I've I've folded it here, but it looks cute like this, doesn't it? Looks cute. Anyway, um, so this is my hair, it's very simple. Also, it, it brings out my face really well. And then I made my nails. I did not have them done as I normally do them, but here they are. I just needed something very simple for work because we are my job is very handsy so like spending a lot of money on my nails is not really realistic because not even it won't even stay in a month so this was enough for me because i just needed them to look cute you know uh to talk maternity leave and then i'm looking all shaggy and stuff but yeah this is me this is me i don't know if i'm excited well i don't know i don't know if i'm excited about tomorrow i am actually dreading tomorrow because because hmm. anyway let me look for my uniform and then pack my bag because i need to look for my name tag my nurse's watch my pair of scissors my marker pen my blue black red green pens um 
or else do we usually carry around yeah that's like the gist of it but i'll show you guys as it go bye so guys this is my uniform i um it looks really big okay i got them i was given when i was pregnant and at the time it looked really uh spacious for me and right now i don't know how well they'll fit me <laughs> but i will have to try i'll have to try them on and see how they fit i'm sure they'll be baggy a little bit but anyway they're not there for the looks it's just to get the job done <laughs> anyway let me pima them and then i'll show you guys my uniform tomorrow bye hi guys so these are the things that i will need for tomorrow i can't believe it's tomorrow anyway uh this is my wristwatch it's sorry it's cuts and it's waterproof i normally like it because it's waterproof and it's very light and this is rubber so it's very versatile for my job um the next one is my name tag my name tag uh-huh and then this is a black pen of course i have like three blue pens over here because and then this is my marker pen this is like pink pen because that some things that we usually need to highlight this is my nurse's watch because it's important to have one of those there it's also cut uh-huh and then my pair of scissors and of course it's pink of course it's pink anyway this is my lunch bag this is my lunch bag it's one of the um, push gifts i got from my husband and it's dendry so this is it it's like this uh this is the um, what's it called the, the you get it anyway so it's cute it actually has a space so i was wondering like these things can fit over here you know and my lunch over there i can put my lunch and then i can put my bottle of water it's very big it can it can it can fit my bottle of water like if i put it like this or like this and then my lunch box there and then i was just wondering this is the bag that i used to carry before so i was wondering do i need to carry it right now or not because i was wondering tomorrow i think it's just about knowing what i need to carry and what not so i was thinking of just carrying this one a simple one because i just need those stuff to put inside here and my lunch and my water bottle and then I feel like carrying this huge bag will, ju will just be a waste of energy because tomorrow I have the car and you know in I'll just carry everything that I need in the car and in case I need it I'll just go get it you know so that on Tuesday um, I will just gauge what the things that I will need that I won't have had uh, on Monday and then I will see whether I need to carry this huge bag or just this lunchbox only but anyway um what, what do you guys think should i carry this one you see the way this one has a lot of space let me open it like well 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 it has this compartment and then it has like very many compartments it has like one two um three four five six inside here and then it has this big one and it has more on the sides i actually love this bag i actually love it anyway just let me know what you guys think I actually love it anyway Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is 
Baby, let me love you, let me love you 